this. Huh. Interesting. Dear Mr. Fast Food Facilitator, you're the only one that I could come to with this top secret, super important mission. I've been rejected by all the big companies. None of them believe me, and they already have a heavy hand in the food industry. It's all about corporate money. They don't care about people's health. I've been traveling the world for decades. I've been to countries like China and Russia, all the way back down to South America and the United States, even Canada, Mexico, Cuba, and the Arabian Peninsula, even places in Africa. All of these corporate chains like McDonald's, Burger King, they're just killing people. It's so unhealthy, and the world doesn't know what to do, and it's all about money. You're the only one I could come to with this. I know you can expose them. What's good in the hood? Satellite reporter, Oliver Donlin. In a world that's average, I'm savage. We got fast food advertisements. We're going to explore this confidential tip and see what makes fast food advertisements successful. What makes them tick. So, without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, as you can see, we've opened the top secret. Do not open. Totally not compromising to the junk food industry. So, we're going to do some investigative journaling here and uh, inspect elements. So, uh, let's see if we can uh, highlight this. Oh, psych. Uh, okay, guys, we might need to look into this a little further. Um... What else does this document have? And oh, what is that? Do you guys see that? That is size of very small. Let's see if we can expand this. And if we put this in black font, we got a bunch of links, guys. So we're going to take a look at these and uh, see what they have in store. All right, the first advertisement we're going to be looking at is from Carl's Jr. So, let's review it. All right, so there's a very attractive young lady, and she's biting it. Wow, and it's smoked sausage o'clock, okay. And oh my gosh, what? That doesn't seem like it should be on television. Uh, so, um, that's something. Um, that was the ad by Carl's Juniors. Um, and as you can see, the main actress was a woman, and it was a particularly attractive woman, if I say so myself. Um, and she was doing some interesting movements with her mouth with the, um, uh, sausage. Uh, and I don't, I think this is, uh, more towards a, a, like, teenager, uh, kind of audience, but it still could be kids. There's no real, like, nice or politically correct way to say this, but, like, it sort of appeals to the idea of, like, sex. And, um, it's a very s attractive woman. Um, and I think that the Carl's Jr. is preying on little kids in their developing minds and, uh, connecting the dots between an attractive lady and, uh, their new, uh, sausage, um, that they're selling. So, um, that's a very interesting tactic by the junk food industry. Let's take a look at some more. All right, the next video we're going to take a look at is the world's largest gummy bear. This is one way to get your 12,600 calorie gummy bear fix. This is another. Introducing the world's largest gummy bear. Okay, so pretty large Seriously. gummy bear there. The world's largest and gummy that's bear a big bite. Five pounds. Five pounds. Gummy bear that's a lot. This mammoth beast that's more than like one pound. Three and a half inches deep and nine inches tall. 
According to our map, okay, that's another the size of another whole different man. color we're being US. used. Like all of the biggest and most awesome things, the world's largest gummy bear is made in the U.S. So bigger and awesome, and, and also American-based, so that's good. So with your name on it. possibly so anti-immigration. Or give someone the greatest flipping gift ever. Oh, it's a sweater. Sweater, okay, that's relatable. It's when it's cold outside. I've gotten a sweater before, that's relatable to the kids. Holy shit. It should be okay, some humor in there as well. Kids like to swear as well, so that's a good bump brownie point. To this newborn baby sized gummy bear. Okay, that's a little too much. Okay, that's a little child dogs. gummy bear. A human city. aspect, Rocking maybe cannibalism. Sleep. I don't know if that's and teaching it to play the piano. The world's largest gummy bear. Alright, another color again, green and an orange. So giant gummy bear on a stick. Making it the equivalent of and look at all those gummy bears. Wow, that's bears. a lot of gummy bears. And since that works out to roughly 90 servings, you'll want to wrap it up and store it in the fridge between binges. Buy one today in your flavor of choice at vat19.com. Vat19.com. All right, so reactions from that video. So a lot of colors being used. Um, kids love colors. Kids love bright colors. You know, all the different colors of the gummy bear being shown, again, targeting towards kids. Bigger being better. Um, it's showing the size and just how awesome it is. And, and it's very nice and very, very nice. So, um, yeah, that's... And then, um, you know, it's it's got some humor in it, too. Um, definitely appealed towards kids. And it's a very deceptive tactic, and um, it's it's really an unhealthy uh, product. But the kids don't really care because it's colorful, it's fun, it's exciting. Um, so yeah. All right. For this next section, uh, we're actually gonna look at the social media aspect between unhealthy food and uh, the popularization and the um, culture around it. Okay. So, um, this first vi photo we have, <clears throat> we got three different milkshakes, uh, all various different sizes. Uh, this is a classic Instagram food idea. I mean, the one hand, you got cookies and chocolate syrup and some whipped cream, and then you got cotton candy with, like, Skittles on it, and the other one's got, like... I think that's M&M or Skittle and some type of chocolate or not or some. Uh, bottom line is diabetes. <laughs> Do not eat this. But um, as you can see, this is really appealing to uh, a kid audience because of the bright colors, the the just unhealthy sugary foods like the cookies and the cotton candy. And this is a really uh, good example of what not to eat but what to post on instagram if you want to get traction and get likes um so yeah this is another really bad marketing strategy that unfortunately is successful look this is one of my like favorite kisses i'm okay. literally filming Just... all right last one we're going to look at is this abomination of a dessert look at I this mean, thing like Jeez Louise, golly, um, that is just like, it looks like th at least three waffles, if not more, uh, just covered in chocolate syrup and uh, ice cream and um, uh, marshmallows, and that's just a ginormous plate again, and this is a perfect social media post because it's interesting, it's flavorful, it's got different colors, all on the different color wheel, you know, um, and it's just so big and like, um, you know, rule of thumb, you know, size does matter some sometimes, not not all the time. Let's let's be real, fellas. Um, but certainly in this case, um, like, this is just way too many calories. But from the uh, observer on social media, it looks really fascinating and and really uh, delectable and delightful. Uh, and this is another great example of something that kids would come across on social media and you just become fascinated by it and, and like want to have it and want to try it. And it turns out it's actually, drum roll please, not good for you.
All right, guys, there you have it. The fast food's uh, deepest secrets. Uh, there you have it. Uh, just be aware next time. Uh, remember what I say. Remember that these ads are really, really misleading. Um, so if you guys ever come across these TV ads or, or social media posts, just know it's not real. I know it looks real, but it's not. And if you got, you know, younger brothers, younger sisters, you know, cousins, you got, I don't know your lifestyle. Maybe you got kids at home. Uh, just keep them in the loop and, and tell them what I'm telling you. Just educate them on this matter because uh, it could really impact their health. I've been your investigative journalist on this matter. Catch you on the flip side.